Hello. Today's lecture will explore the relationships between the three main security properties of hash functions. Pre-image resistance, second pre-image resistance, and collision resistance. Please take the time to review the three main security properties of hash functions, pre-image resistance, second pre-image resistance, and collision resistance. From the definitions, we can concisely state what it means to break the pre-image, second pre-image, and collision resistant properties of a hash function H. To break pre-image resistance, you're given a randomly selected hash value Y, and you have to find a message X, any message X, whose hash equals Y. To break second pre-image resistance, you're given a randomly selected message X, and you have to find a second message X primed different from X, with the same hash as X. To break collision resistance, you're given nothing, and you have to find two distinct messages X and X primed, which have the same hash values. By examining these statements more carefully, you can deduce that the security properties are related to each other. For example, to break pre-image resistance, you're given a random hash value Y, and you want to find any message X whose hash equals Y. On the other hand, to break second pre-image resistance, you're given a random message X. You could then hash X to find its hash value Y, and then you need to find a second message X prime whose hash equals Y. So like with the case of breaking pre-image resistance, to break second pre-image resistance, you also have to find a pre-image of a random hash value y. But this time, you are also given one pre-image x of y, which might help you in your job of finding a second pre-image. So you might expect that finding pre-images is at least as hard as finding second pre-images. Or equivalently, finding second pre-images is no harder than finding pre-images. In the remainder of the lecture, we'll establish relationships between the three security properties of a hash function. I'll first prove that collision resistance implies second pre-image resistance. To prove this, I'll establish the contrapositive statement. So I'll prove that if H is not second pre-image resistant, then H is also not collision resistant. So suppose that H is a hash function that is not second pre-image resistant. Randomly select the message X. Since H is not second pre-image resistant, we can efficiently find a second message X primed different from X with the same hash value as X. Now, X and X primed is a collision for H. And so we have efficiently found a collision for H. This shows that H is not collision resistant. The proof establishes the contrapositive statement. Whenever you prove security implications like this, it's always better to prove the contrapositive statement. If you try to prove the statement directly, then you would begin with the assumption that H is collision resistant which means that you cannot efficiently find a collision for H. It's then very awkward to continue this line of argument with a string of statements that you cannot find something efficiently. So, it's always best to prove the contrapositive statement. The proof of such a statement is a constructive algorithm for solving a problem, given an oracle, which is a hypothetical subroutine for solving a second problem. This is how security proofs are typically constructed in the cryptographic literature. I'll next prove that collision resistance does not guarantee pre-image resistance. I'll do this by constructing a hash function that is collision resistant but isn't pre-image resistant. Suppose that H is an n-bit hash function that is collision resistant. Consider the n plus 1-bit hash function H bar defined as follows. If x has bit length n, then h bar of x is defined to be x with the one bit appended to its left. 
Whereas if x has bit length other than n, then h bar of x is defined to be h of x with the zero bit appended to its left. Note that both these kinds of hash values have bit length n plus one, and so h bar is indeed an n plus one bit hash function. I'll now argue that h bar is collision resistant. First note that hash values that begin with a one have unique preimages, and hence there does not exist a collision for h bar where the colliding messages have hash values that begin with a one. Suppose next that we can efficiently find a collision for h bar where the colliding messages have hash values that begin with a zero. But then this collision for h bar is also a collision for h that we have efficiently found. This contradicts the assumption that h is collision resistant. And so we conclude that h bar is also collision resistant. I'll next argue that h bar is not pre image resistant. This is because pre images can be efficiently found for at least half of all possible hash values y. And so, with non negligible success probability, when the challenge y is selected uniformly at random. Namely, if y happens to begin with a 1 bit, followed by a bit string x of bit length n, then we can easily find a pre image for y, namely the message x. Therefore, h bar is a hash function that is collision resistant but isn't pre image resistant. Now, the hash function h bar is rather contrived. I'll next argue that if h is somewhat uniform, then collision resistance does indeed imply pre image resistance. By a somewhat uniform hash function, I mean that all hash values have roughly the same number of pre images. Here's a proof that collision resistant uniform hash functions are also pre image resistant. Begin by randomly selecting a message x and compute its hash y. Since h is somewhat uniform, y is a uniformly randomly selected hash value. Now, since h is not pre image resistant, we can efficiently find a pre image x prime of y. And since h is somewhat uniform, we expect that y has many pre images. Thus, with high probability, x prime is not equal to x. And thus, x and x prime is a collision for h that we have efficiently found. And so h is not collision resistant. For the remainder of the course, we will assume that all hash functions are somewhat uniform. And so we have that collision resistance does indeed imply pre image resistance. I'll next prove that pre image resistance does not guarantee second pre image resistance. Suppose that H is an n bit hash function that is pre image resistant. Define the n bit hash function H bar as follows. For any t at least one, h bar of any t bit message is defined to be the h value of the same message, but whose first bit is now zero. I'll first argue that h bar is pre image resistant. I'll do this by contradiction. Suppose that h bar is not pre image resistant. Then, given a randomly selected hash value y, we can efficiently find a message x such that h bar of x equals y. But then, h of x prime equals y, where x is a message obtained from x by setting its first bit to zero. And so, we can efficiently find pre-images for h. This contradicts the assumption that h is pre-image resistant. And so, we conclude that h bar is also pre-image resistant. I'll next argue that h bar is not second pre image resistant. Suppose that we're given a randomly selected message x. Then we can easily find a second pre image for x with respect to h bar, namely by flipping the first bit of x 
to get the message X primed. And this shows that H bar is not second pre image resistant, and so H bar is a hash function that is pre image resistant, but is not second pre image resistant. I'll let you read the proof for yourself that second pre image resistant uniform hash functions are also pre image resistant. Let me next prove that second pre image resistance does not imply collision resistance. I'll prove the statement by constructing a hash function that is second pre image resistant but is not collision resistant. Suppose that H is an n bit hash function that is second pre image resistant. Consider the n bit hash function H bar defined as follows H bar of x is defined to be H of 0 if x equals 1, and H bar of x is defined to be H of x if x is different from 1. And so H bar is identical to H, except that H bar of 1 is H of 0 which is also h bar of 0 by definition of h bar. First note that h bar is not collision resistant. This is because 0, 1 is a collision for h bar, which of course we can efficiently find. I'll next prove by contradiction that h bar is second pre image resistant. So suppose that h bar is not second pre image resistant. Hence, Given a randomly selected message x, we can efficiently find a second message x primed different from x, such that h bar of x primed equals h bar of x. With probability essentially 1, we can assume that x is neither 0 nor 1. And so, since x is not equal to 1, we have that h bar of x equals h of x. Now, if x primed is not equal to 1, then h bar of x primed equals h of x primed by definition of h bar. And since h bar of x primed equals h bar of x, which equals h of x, we have h of x primed equals h of x. On the other hand, if x prime equals 1, then h bar of x primed equals h bar of 1, which equals h of 0 by definition. And again, h bar of x primed equals h bar of x, which equals h of x, and so h of 0 equals h of x. In either case, we have efficiently found a second pre image for x with respect to h. This second pre image is x primed in the case where x primed does not equal to 1, and 0 in the case where x primed equals 1. But this contradicts the assumption that H is second pre image resistant, and so H bar must be second pre image resistant. Hence, H bar is second pre image resistant, but not collision resistant. <music> Lastly, if pre image resistance implies collision resistance, then that implication, together with CR implying 2PR, would tell us that PR implies 2PR. But that is not the case, and so we must conclude that PR does not imply collision resistance. And so this picture completes the relationships between the three main security properties for somewhat uniform hash functions. Notice that collision resistance is the hardest property to satisfy, because if a hash function is collision resistant, then it is also pre-R and also second pre-image resistant. On the other hand, PR does not imply CR and 2PR does not imply CR. We'll next investigate generic attacks on hash functions, beginning with simple attacks that find pre-images and collisions. We'll then do a detailed examination of the VW parallel collision finding algorithm which is the fastest generic algorithm for finding collisions. I hope that you have a wonderful day.